Hi there. Now, in an earlier video, I introduced you to the Triple Scalar product, and I want to show you its applications. And one application is finding the volume of a parallel pipette. Now, the volume of a parallel pipette is given by this particular formula. It's equal to the area of the base times the perpendicular height. So, if we take the parallel pipette shown here, the base is this parallelogram, and the vertical height will be from, say, here all the way up to the top of this plane face here that is parallel with the base, thus creating a right angle triangle here. So, this will be the perpendicular height, which we'll call H. And the angle that this makes, let's say with this edge here, let's call it theta, just mark it in black here. So, there's our angle theta. Now, if we're working with vectors, and we take from this vertex here, three vectors along the edges that start from here. Let's say we take this one, first of all, up this edge, and call it A. Then this one along here, we'll call it B. And the one along this edge of the parallelogram at the, on the base, we'll call it the vector C. Now, earlier I showed you that when it came to the area of a parallelogram, it was equal to the magnitude of the vector product between these two vectors. So we could do is, is the magnitude of B crossed with C, or even C crossed with B. So that's the area of the base. Now we need to multiply it by the height. So that's going to be H. But if we look carefully at this triangle here, using basic trigonometry, the cosine of angle theta will equal the adjacent side, which is H, divided by the hypotenuse, which is the magnitude of that vector, the magnitude of the vector A. And if we rearrange this for H, you can see that H is equal to the magnitude of A times cosine theta. So in here, we can just say that this is multiplied by the magnitude of the vector A times the cosine of the angle theta. Now, B crossed with C is a vector. It's a vector which is normal, remember, to the two vectors B and C. So in other words, it will be in the direction of H. Or if we did C crossed with B, it will be in the downward sense. But whatever way we look at this, what we have got is an angle theta between this vector and the vector A. And in this case, this particular structure is the dot product, the dot product between B crossed with C and the vector A. So what we've got here then is B crossed with C dotted with the vector A, the scalar product. And because the scalar product is commutative, I can write this as A dotted with B crossed with C. And this is known as the triple scalar product, which we discussed in an earlier video. And to work this out, we can use the determinant of the coefficients of each of these three vectors. So if we take A having components A1, A2, A3, B having components B1, B2, B3, and similarly for C, that having components C1, C2, C3, then work out that determinant, and you've got the volume. We've got to be careful, though, because, remember, if I do B cross with C in this diagram, it will give us a vector in the direction of H. But you never know, you might decide to do C crossed with B, and we'll end up with the negative of this because B cross with C, remember, is negative C cross B. So when we evaluate this, we might end up with a negative value, and volume obviously can't be negative. So therefore, in general, the volume will be equal to 
the modulus or magnitude of A dotted with B crossed with C. OK, so that's our general result. Now in the next video, what I'll do is I'll run through a numerical example so that you can try it or just have a look, as I say, at the example and uh, see how we go about it. Okay?